Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use molarity in a couple of different types of calculations. So in my last video, I talked about solutions a little bit, and I introduced uh, what a solution is. I talked about the components of a solution, the solute and the solvent, and I talked about how to prepare solutions, and I also introduced the topic of molarity. And that's where we're going to pick up. So remember, molarity is just uh, one of the ways by which a chemist can express the concentration of a solution. So remember, a concentration refers to how much solute you have in your solution relative to the solvent. The solute being the minority component, the substance that actually gets dissolved in the solution. And then of course the solvent is the majority component of the solution, uh, the stuff that does the dissolving. So remember the molarity is defined as the amount of solute you have in your solution, and that is in moles, divided by the volume of the solution, which is in liters. Now, me personally, I don't really like all these big words in a formula. I'd rather just trim this down and turn those words into symbols uh, so I can make this equation much more cleaner and more pleasant to look at. So I arrive at this simple equation here where I have M, which stands for molarity, equals N sub solute, that is the amount of solute in moles, divided by V, which is of course the volume of the solution in liters. So this is my formula, M equals N solute, over V. So let's take a look at a couple of problems in which we can use this relationship uh, in a calculation. So this first problem says to find the amount of sodium chloride in moles of a 30 milliliter 8.0 molar aqueous solution of sodium chloride. So as you can probably imagine we're going to use our formula M equals N solute over V and in this case uh, we have two knowns and we have one unknown. So it gives us the volume and it gives us the concentration in molarity uh, and we're just trying to figure out what N solute is supposed to be, the amount of solute in moles. So again, we have M, we have V, and we're trying to solve for N solute. So in this case, it uh, looks like all we have to do is just multiply both sides of this equation by V and we will get that N solute is equal to M times V. So now all we have to do is just plug in our values for molarity and for the volume of our solution, and we will get the amount of solute in moles. Now there's one little hurdle associated with this calculation, and that is that the volume that we were given is in milliliters. And remember, molarity is moles of solute over liters of solution. So we have to take that volume in milliliters, that 30 milliliters, and we have to do a simple one-step conversion in which we convert from milliliters to liters. So I'm going to set up a conversion factor in which I put uh, 1,000 milliliters on the bottom and one liter on top because there are 1,000 milliliters in a liter. Milliliters are going to cancel and the volume in liters is going to be 0 0.030 liters. So now we have a volume in liters and we can simply plug that into our equation so we get uh, the amount of solute in moles is going to be 8.0 moles per liter which again moles per liter is just uh, another unit of molarity. The capital M for molarity or molar just means moles per liter. So it's 8.0 moles per liter times 0 0.030 liters and the amount of solute in moles is going to be 0 0.24 moles of sodium chloride. So again, all we did was just use that simple formula, M equals N solute over V, and then we algebraically solved for the variable that we wanted, and then we just plugged in our numbers, and voila, that gives us our answer. So let's look at one more problem before we finish up. And this says, to find the volume of a 9.4 molar aqueous solution of glucose, C6H12O6, that contains 12.9 moles of glucose. So again, we're going to use our same formula here, M equals N solute over V. Uh, in this case, we know the molarity and we know the amount of solute in moles and the volume of the solution. That's the unknown. That's what we're trying to figure out. So all we need to do, like we did earlier, was algebraically solve for our unknown. So the first step would be to multiply both sides of the equation by the volume, and we will get that uh, MV, molarity times volume, equals the amount of solute in moles. And then all we have to do at this point is divide both sides of the equation by the molarity, M, and we will arrive at V equals the amount of solute in moles divided by the molarity. At this point, all we have to do is just plug the values that we've been given for the amount of solute and the molarity, and then uh, crunch those numbers into a calculator, and we will be all done. So again, 
the amount of solute in moles, that's 12.9 moles, divided by the molarity of the solution, that's 9.4 moles per liter. And the result is going to be 1.4 liters. So that is the volume of a 9.4 molar solution that contains 12.9 moles of glucose. All right, so that does it for this video. I hope this video helped you out a little bit. And in the next video, we're going to talk about uh, something called solution dilution. So if you're interested in that, then please, by all means, stay tuned. All right, you guys, take it easy.